What is happening, YouTube and Weight Loss Warriors? It's your bearded boy, C-Dub, and I'm back with another video. And I know it's been a while. We'll get into a little bit of that in a minute. But I wanted to talk to you guys today about the simple fact that now it's been three years, three years of walking for 10,000 steps a day. And I think that that is an important topic. So I wanted to pop back on here, make a video about it, let you guys know that I've done it, let you know some of the stuff that I've learned about it, some of the things that walking has done for me. But I also wanted to talk about, you know, basically why you might want to consider doing it yourself too. So uh, before I get into all that, I know most of you have been waiting a long time to hear from me. It's been six months since I uploaded. So I just wanted to get, uh, give an opportunity to mention that everything is fine. Um, the weight has stayed off me. I'm still about 195, so about 10 pounds heavier than the 125 weight loss. So about 115 pounds overall. Been able to keep it off. I've been doing well, but I started a new job. And so I've been teaching. I've been in a classroom teaching this year. And so that has been a big adjustment and trying to figure out all the teaching and, and working in special education. It's just been a awful lot. It's a ton of paperwork and I haven't had the time to do as much on the channel as I used to. And hopefully I'll be able to in the future get some more uploads going. But right now it's just busy, 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 busy with paperwork. So with all of that said, so that's where I've been. Everything's fine. The family's fine. Everything's good um, going on there. I still have been fasting. I still haven't missed a day. All of that stuff is consistent and true. So for those of you that are concerned, don't be, I'm good. As far as the walking though, that why I wanted to pop on here, and it's, it's crazy to think that I've walked anywhere from 10,000 to the maximum I did in a day was I think about 42,000 steps um, every day for three years without missing a single one. And that's something that I'm proud of and something that, you know, I think is very important. And ultimately, I think it has helped me and it helped me in my original weight loss journey. For those of you that didn't know, when I caught my first plateau, um, I had probably gotten down to about 210 pounds. And I could not break through that barrier. 210 pounds was just haunting me day in, day out. I couldn't couldn't do it for like over a month, month and a half. I was stuck there and I started to walk and then boom, all of a sudden out of nowhere, the weight started melting back off and I got all the way down to 184 pounds. So uh, that was a big time you know, thing. So that, that walking did, it really helped in that last little bit of weight. I mean, it tru I truly think that's the reason why I lost the last 25 pounds. And then keeping off, you know, the weight and, and doing all those things. I think walking has been a huge, important part of that too. But I, I think that more than any of the weight loss stuff though, I think walking has helped me clear my head. It's helped me be a better person and it's put some fitness and probably some years onto my life. So I think that it's the reason why I choose walking over anything else is I think though I've experimented in weightlifting and I've experimented in different things and I'm probably going to start lifting again here in a minute because one of my wrestlers wants to lift and it's just easier if I do it with him. So, uh, but with all of those other things, it's extremely hard to do and it's extremely hard to fit into a schedule when you've got a family and you've got a job and you've got a lot going on. And for me, I think if you just take a minute and say walking is easy, it's low impact, it doesn't hurt you, you can do it with your family, you can spend some time walking, and even if they don't always walk with you every single day, just the fact that you walk, they're gonna come with you occasionally, and those kind of things are gonna add up over time, and it's more time spent doing things where if you're like, hey, I wanna go to the weight room, no one in your family may be interested in going, right? So I just feel like for the fact that it doesn't hurt you, it burns calories, it does a really good job of lowering your TDEE, if you will. If you don't know what that is, check my old videos out. But it, it, it does all those good things to help you and prepare. But more importantly than anything else, I think it gives you the opportunity to clear your head, to get through your thoughts for the day, to figure out where you're at. And I think it takes your stress levels down when you're able to walk every single day. I think it's an amazing exercise. I think all of you guys that aren't walking should try to incorporate it a little bit. But let me tell you about why I also think that it's something you gotta consider. I think that what ends up happening in any weight loss journey, your body gets to these set points. And so as you're losing weight, you might be you know, 25 pounds down, and you're fine, you might be 50 pounds down and you're fine, the weight is just coming off week in and week out and week in and week out. But at some point your body is gonna say, okay, we know what, how many calories to burn because we know how many calories are being you know, eaten and that's all we're gonna do. We're not gonna do any more, we're not gonna do any less. 
we're going to cut it right here because that's what, you know, that that's the scoop and your body's going to adjust to it and it's going to stop and you're going to hit one of those plateaus like I did. And so whenever you do that, it doesn't have to be walking. It can be anything else, but you have to add something else. You either have to eat less, you have to move more. Those are your two options to break through that plateau. And it's not always fun or, or not even a plateau. It's more of a set point, right? And so you want to break through that set point. So adding in something helps out a lot. And there's nothing you can add in that's easier to do than walking. And so I just feel like it's something, and I know it's getting ready to be winter in a lot of places and, and buckle down in the cold walk is a bit of an issue. But I can tell you now that I've been walking day in and day out for over three years, 10,000 or more steps. The last point I wanna make about walking is some of you may say 10,000 steps. There's just no way, no way, I'm not doing it, right? That's okay too. You know, it's not even about the steps. I, I said this to my brother the other day, right? It's not even about the steps. I put 10,000 in my head, but 10,000 steps don't really matter. 10,000 steps aren't really the thing that you have to hang your hat on and say, I got 10,000 steps. What you need to do is walk at a rate that increases your heart rate, and you've got to do that for 30 minutes. Now, 30 minutes of, of straight walking is only between 3,500 and 4,500 steps, depending on how much you're hustling, right? So you're talking about a very small amount of steps there, but if you're going with your heart rate intense the whole time, you've done enough to burn calories, you've done enough to get your heart more healthy, and you've probably put yourself in a better situation. Now, I will also want to say that that's 30 minutes of having a high heart. So when you first start walking, maybe the first five minutes or so, you're getting your heart rate up, and then you've got to maintain it for 30 minutes. So it's really a 35 or 40 minute walk that will benefit you the most. And adding that walk in, adding those 4,000, let's just average it out and say 4,000 steps in every day, plus what you're already doing, should get you up over the recommended 6,500 steps. And that's where I think our health organizations and things say you should have 6,500 steps or more. Um, 7,500 is what a lot of the standard is as well. So it'll get you in that range between 6,500 and 7,500 steps just adding in a 40 minute walk. And I think a 40 minute walk will clear your head, get your heart rate up, make you feel better and help you on your weight loss journey. So anyways, guys, just drop some comments if you got them, uh, questions down below. I'm gonna be checking them this week. I just want to encourage each and every one of you to get out there and move a little bit more. I, I know that you guys have, have been asking for me to get back on and record a video. I apologize again for being so long. I'll try to be better about it. You know, I am still here for you. The, the, the big hiccup with my channel is just recording content that I've already recorded. I feel like the, the, the video is already there. Just go watch that video. Why do you need me to do it again? And that, that's part of it too. So, you know, but I'm going to try to do better. I'm going to try to make sure you guys know that I'm still here for you. You know, you drop me questions. I'm going to help you out. All right, guys, I will talk to you on the next video. Peace.